Welcome to Warhammer War Scroll Review. In this episode, we'll be checking out the Bone Splitters War Scroll, The Big Stabbers. War Scroll Review. The Big Stabber is an interesting War Scroll. It used to be just an upgrade to a unit of Savage Boys. Now it's a pretty cool unit and certainly has some uses on the tabletop. It's kind of a glass cannon as it has a high damage output but dies very quickly. It has an average orc movement of 5 inches. 4 wins, 6 up save, and bravery 6, so they obviously get removed pretty fast. It has one weapon, the Gork Tooth, which is 2 attacks with a 3 inch range, hitting on 4s and wounding on 3s. This thing has Ren 2 and damage 3. The Gork Tooth really takes a chunk out if it lands an attack, and against monsters it does an additional d3 damage. This Monster Hunter ability is extremely potent in its purpose, and fits the Bone Splitter's theme well. In addition to this special ability, when slain, the Stabas deal D3 mortal wounds to a unit within 3 inches, ensuring as long as they get into combat, the Stabas are going to do some damage. The big Stabas are only 100 points for 2, and go in units up to 8. If you're bringing a big unit and spending 3 or 400 points, you'll probably need some other units to enhance them a bit, but taking a unit or two at bare cost can still be a worthwhile addition to an army. Big Stabbers are a unit that will likely either make its points back exponentially, or die before it hurts anything. The Big Stabbers should be directed at higher armor value targets, and or monsters. A unit of Big Stabbers can easily take out the average infantry hero. Getting them there is the hard part. The biggest problem with these models is that they're slow, so they may be best as a counteroffensive. The Big Stabber would work well sitting near a shooting unit or buffing character and counterattacking when they are attacked. Make use of their 3 inch attack range by leaving them very close to the unit they are supporting, so if they get charged the Stabbers do too. They are very brittle and die the same as two Savage Orcs do, so they really don't work well as protective chaff. But if they do go, say, in the middle of a Cunninrock Arrow Boys unit, they could certainly cause some havoc protect the archers, and be protected simultaneously. The Destruction Grand Alliance battle trait, Rampaging Destruction, and the command trait, Ravager, would help in making up for the Big Stabba's slow movement. The Destruction command trait, Bellowing Tyrant, is also helpful, giving them plus one to hit, mitigating their average accuracy. This is extremely effective in tandem with Savage Attack, the Savage Orc Big Boss's command ability. On a six to hit, they make an additional attack, but with Bellowing Tyrant, this will be triggering on a 5 or a 6, making a single big stab capable of taking down some monsters on its own. The Wurgog Prophet's command ability is also worth mentioning, as it can be used on a unit of big stabbers to have them pile in and attack in the hero phase. Since the big stabbers are so fragile, getting another round of combat before the opponent can swing is extremely beneficial. The Tief Ruck Battalion War Scroll includes 2 to 5 units of big stabbers. This war scroll would also allow the big stabbers to pile in and attack in the hero phase. This move is 6 inches, but can only be used against enemy monsters. This is really good, but ultimately situational. The current meta doesn't include too many big monsters, but if you are including 2 units of big stabbers and have 40 points to spare, this can be destructive pairing. It may be best with a destruction grand alliance, as big stabbers could move close enough to a monster, and if activated first in the ensuing combat phase, could swing twice before the monster gets to react. In combination with a Wurgog Prophet, the Big Stabbers could potentially be swinging three times before letting the opponent monster swing. Even at bare minimum with this battalion, two units of Big Stabbers could be swinging five times between them, which is going to kill most monsters. The Maniac Weird Knob spell can be used on the Big Stabbers to give them rerolled ones to hit, and when the casting dice rolled are doubles, the spell gives off rerolls to all missed hits complementing the Stabas nicely. If Bone Splitters was the source for the Allegiance abilities, their spells could be of great use for the Big Stabas. Brutal Beast Spirits makes up for losing Bellowing Tyrants from the Destruction Grand Alliance, and is also good alongside the Big Boss's command ability, giving them another source of plus one to hit, and having the added bonus of making them a little bit faster at the same time. Another spell, the Hand of Gork, or Mork, doubles their movement to 10 inches, and lets them fly, which is one of the best ways to delivering the Big Stabbers. Big Stabbers could really fit in any Destruction Grand Alliance army. They really don't rely on other units to complete their task. They can easily be used to back up or protect any shooting or buffing units. 
In a Bone Splitter's army, Stabas are very important as Bone Splitters don't otherwise have many high rend, high damage weapons at their disposal. They also do the job of taking out the big, heavy armored targets, which Bone Splitters also sometimes struggle with. When facing these models, remember they are slow and delicate, but don't let them surprise you with their 3 inch attack range or high damage output. Kill them before they get into combat. Savage Orc Big Stabas get a 3 out of 5. They can do a lot of damage, especially to monsters, but have trouble getting into combat. Without a proper way to deliver them safely, they would get shot to bits or avoided. What do you think of the Big Stabas? Have you seen them played or used them often? Let me know your thoughts on them and any War Scrolls you'd like to see covered in the comments section. Thanks for watching.